When fighting a flesh dash, you must attack, then rest, and then guard, lest you suffer the creature's repost. The knight Pongorba is said to be immune to the deadly touch of ambulant skulls. He resides on an island to the west behind a sealed door. So, um, I went back here and started exploring. Okay. My armors will raise your maximum flesh points. Somehow additional bonuses. Behold their magnificence. Torso shell. Combat shell. Why not? Whoops. Alright, get dressed. I don't know why. I don't understand, to be honest. But let's save. So, um, besides all the weird stuff, this is a pretty standard RPG Maker game. Have you heard of our bleak cellophane? Turbo tendons, bad juju, and bleak cellophane. Okay. Oh, it's a television. Nope. Oh, we're back into this room. Alright, I'm out. So yeah, I came back to Vosaltine. I also activated that crystal and took a bath at my home. So we're gonna go back to the mountain. I wonder... System. Auto dash. That's rather simple. Okay. I guess I should look around for an easy target, although, strictly speaking, I could just run around and avoid them all. Nice, 100 bucks. So I assume that this game will have, just based off the title, I assume this game will have a lot of Gnosticism in it. Ooh, more money. 50 bucks. Nice. I should have like $166 now. I'm named Data Smolten. I have spent my life searching for the paper cup. I have finally tracked it to these ruins. It is buried somewhere amidst the fallen monuments. Well, I'll help you. Uh, you're a fellow artifact seeker, perhaps. If you can bring me the paper cup, I will be so unimaginably stoked. You can try to dig for it while specialing the space bar while standing over the artifact's location. You can determine the location using a machine in my tent. Turn it on and take a nap. It'll project a vision into your mind. Large up. Sleep here? Sure. You feel refreshed. Reservoir. Oh, yeah, another one of these. Of course, the paper cup. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, so it's between these three things the squiggle, the squiggle, and the branch. Uh-huh. I'm the Sage of Brands. I grant you my token. Got Sage's token. Seek my siblings, the Sage of Computers and Death. They will also give you tokens. Therein lies the path to enlightenment. Okay. So I guess he never did that. Just, like, explore things beyond his own mind. Let's try this one. Oh, jeez. Let's try this. Uh huh. Sleep. Oh, cool. Damn. Oh, I'm blind, of course. Still can't see a damn thing. There you go.
cone statue. Oh, he's the one who's blinding me. What the fuck is this music, dude? Cone statue is healing its allies. Okay, so yeah, you're a problem. Lighting this up. Really tough, though. Huh. Give that a shot. There you go. $225. Meat. Juice box and meat found. And meat. Okay. So I'm trying to stop Gibby. Okay, so we got this plus. Apologies for the plosives. I still don't have a pop filter. Kind of slacking, really. Alright, let's head back down and grab some goodies. Because money is actually going to be less of a problem than I suspected. Okay, so this heals my will. 80% will, 20% box. Um, you can throw it or you can heat it up. Let's get four. Cool. Big cellophane. What do you have? Prevents blind. Crown, huh? Cool. I just noticed my stats are mightiness, texture, jollity, cooking, guts, and philology. Philology. Perfect. Right, and I believe there was a guy around here somewhere that would allow me to take a bath for like 50 bucks. So let's see what you've got. Hmm. Combat Bell, Berry Shield, Chrome Bowler. So it looks like because of the way that uh, random encounters happen on the maps, you're not going to be able to grind. So then we just got to find that paper cup for Dennis Mold. Talk to me, baby. the Altin, the Lurian city. God, this game looks like something Frank Zappa threw up. This is right. Going this way. Like, I want to comment on this. I want to commentate, but I have so little to say. I don't know what this is. I'm very confused by it. Nice. Oh, this is going to be easy. Meat frozen burrito fat. So you actually get a pretty impressive amount of stuff. Let's try frozen burrito. Oh yeah, let's, let's especially get things. Oh, that's a one-up. Damages and may stun. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so frozen burritos aren't too, too useful. Recited a cone poem. I manifested it. Mm -hmm. 
want to save that dynamite because I know it can be used for a thing. Wait, let me see if I can put them to sleep as well. It worked pretty well. No effect. Sleep. Oh, we got one of them at least. Nice. See if we can work this out. Nice. Juice box meat, meat found. Okay, so I kind of almost want to die. Because you can cash the meat in at that one place. is really good. Oh, I get it. He's like a moon. Nine meat. Flesh rose by 18 points. Cool. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Cool. Like he's a waning moon. Because the moon waxes and wanes. I don't know if it's spelled like that, but it's clever. Oh, I guess that's what the villain is as well. Gibby? Because the moon has different shapes. Because, like, everyone knows full moon. Because it's full. And everyone knows moon, new moon for the same reason. And half moon makes sense. And crescent moon, well, everyone knows what a crescent moon looks like. But the one that's in between... Uh, half and full is a gibbous. It's a gibbous moon. So you have like a waning gibbous and a waxing gibbous. So I guess that's what gibby is. You know, I guess he actually isn't too dangerous now that I can't be blinded. And I can kill these guys in one hit, so... I may just want to do that and then fight a guy who can't blind me and can only heal or buff other people. Wow. This game is so stylistic and cool. Bring me the next one. Oh, I just skipped my turn, damn it. It's healing its allies. It's a really cool animation. It's just they made a cool thing out of clay and then smooshed it up. But like, goddamn. I feel kind of bad for this game, because this is a weird RPG that, if I remember correctly, came out in 2015. The year of, uh... Other weird RPG. Fuck, just... I just hit the buttons out of order. This is so cool. This is such a clever use of assets. I love games that either use photographs... Or, uh, and especially I really love claymation games. Doom only, like, technically counts. Because if you didn't know, the original Doom sprites were made out of clay models. They photographed some clay models. And then turned those into the sprites in game.
Of course, in addition to these things, uh, they also did use a lot of... Oops, sorry, I've got hiccups. They used a lot of, like, original computer-generated sprites. What the fuck? That background, man. Nice. This is exactly the kind of game I would love to make. Well, one of them. I've mentioned that I have a lot of passion for game design and a lot of ideas about it. Wow, nice. So instead of getting XP, you get meat, and you only turn that meat in when you're dead, so you have to die to do it. Learn space shurikens. it again. Cool. What are you, good sir? Oh, it's the flesh stash. So it's attack, guard, guard, flesh attack. Well, then now we guard. Okay, cool. Um... I can't heal, can I? I can't. And then a juice box. Oh, whoops. I uh, hit the wrong thing there. Not dead, so I can't use the burrito. Oh, I'm dead. Um, cool. Let me just drop off my meat. Uh, and then I guess I should pause the episode. I'm just having such a good time. Um, this has been Hylix. Possibly Hylix? I feel like uh, an unclear pronunciation is exactly what the developers want and intend, so... This is uh, a weird fucking video game. I'm having a lot of fun with it, though. I hope you guys uh, are having too, having fun too, as well. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.